Hi everyone, it's Keely. Um, this is the first YouTube video I've made in I think two months. Um, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, recently I was in the midst of um, getting married and then I was gone for a while on my honeymoon. Um, and the whole process of having a wedding and coordinating everything that needed to happen, um, it just turned out that I wasn't really able to do all of that and keep up on my YouTube videos. It was also pretty hard for me to just keep making art and posting on the regular, um, but now that life has kind of returned to, I don't know, something slightly more consistent, um, I'll hopefully be able to start recording and posting more often. Um, so my goal is that I will be able to put out a video every Tuesday. Um, I can't make any promises but that is what I would like to maintain. I'm, I want to maintain more videos a week than that, but I also don't want to push myself because I've also committed to live streaming at least once a week. So both of those things I would like to do more often than that, but I figured I would start slow so that if it turns out to be too much, you know, I can step back and give myself a little bit of space instead of stressing out and pushing too hard and, you know, burning out, which is not really something I'm aiming to do right now. Um, so today I will be working on this uh, digital portrait that I did on my iPad Pro. It's the 12.9 first generation. I know that they're coming out with a second generation of this, but I don't think it'll be out till September. Um, but yeah, so this is the original generation um, iPad Pro, 12.9 inch screen, um, the Apple Pencil, and then I'm using the app Procreate, which is always what I use if I do anything digital. Um, so this project in particular is a zine that I'm working on. My first zine came out in, ooh, when did it come out? January, I believe? I think it came out like the very first week of January of this year, um, but all of the art was done in December. So it's been something I've been itching to do another of since that, since I did the first one because I had such a great time doing it. Um, so I decided to work on a new one. And here you can see Luna being a total attention whore. <laughs> Look at her. Um, yeah, so uh, it, it doing another zine has just been something that I've wanted to do since I did the first. I had such a great time doing it that I have been uh, working on ideas since then, but nothing had just really like spoken to me. Um, because if I'm going to do a zine, I want to do one that's themed. My last one, Blue Velvet, was done... Also, if you can hear frantic typing in the background, that's because my husband is playing what video game? What? What video game are you playing? Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike. He's playing Counter-Strike. That's what the furious typing is in the background. Um, but anyway, my first design, Blue Velvet, was uh, based around a color scheme, which was like a Prussian blue and blush pink, which I really enjoyed doing, and I did it in traditional watercolor um, on paper. And um, I stuck with an extremely limited color palette for that, which I really enjoyed doing. Um, but for this one, I wanted to mix it up and do something a little bit different because I didn't want to just, you know, keep recreating the exact same sign over and over again. Um, and even just working on this one, since it's n nearly done now, um, has given me tons of ideas for more. <laughs> so I'm sure from this I will immediately branch out to do yet another, or at least that's what I hope, because I, I honestly do love putting these together. I love working in collections. Um, to me it's extremely motivating and just so satisfying to see the whole collection come together um, in an aesthetically pleasing instance. Um, so yeah, this one, which I guess I will say here the name, I don't think I've said the name yet on social media, um, it took me a while to decide on a name for it because I had a name in mind, but I know that it has been used for other, um, other illustration collections, essentially. Um, but I thought that it was just simple enough that it doesn't really make sense to completely avoid the name. Um, so the name of this will be Bloom. Um, I don't know, I just prefer to keep names short and simple. Um, so the name is Bloom, the theme is Floral Witches. I really wanted to do something witch themed um, because I'm really, really feeling those autumn vibes right now. Um, but I just couldn't let myself get into the autumn mindset yet because then I'll just burn out and like in my mind autumn will be over before it begins and I really, really would like to not have that happen. So 
I decided to do summer witches, and I don't really know what's more summery than throwing a whole bunch of flowers and pastel colors together, so that's what I decided to do. Um, I picked a color palette for this one as well. It's definitely, definitely, definitely not as limited as um, the past design that I did, but uh, here in a little bit you'll see me pop up a little row of colored dots on the side of uh, the file. Um, and you'll be able to see kind of the color palette that I'm aiming for. I will adjust the colors a tiny bit depending on uh, like if things need to contrast a little bit more or a little bit less. Um, but see like there with her skin tone, I did adjust her skin tone from the color palette I have on the side. But overall I'm trying to stick to these colors or at least very very close to them. Um, and I think it's just overall going to make the, the, the collection as a whole look more cohesive. Um, and like I said before, I love looking not looking. I love working in themed collections of things. It's just very satisfying to me. Um, so that's what I decided to do with this. Um, you can see the colors on the side there. If I had it to do over again, I may have picked a few different colors. Like I may have picked different greens to work with. Um, but I'm making it work and I'm not unhappy with it. It's just that the greens that I picked happen to be kind of difficult to work with. One is very, very blue and one is very uh, muted and kind of yellowy brownish toned, which I do love in a green, but um, it's just overall kind of made it a little difficult to work with in some instances. Um, but yeah, I'm having a blast working on it. Um, I believe the design will be somewhere in between 16. I haven't decided if I want to make it 16. Um, individual pieces or 20. 20 is what I did for my last one and it felt extremely ambitious. Like it, it definitely felt like I was working on it for a long time. Um, but then I also had to make it slightly more expensive because I was printing on more pages, um, which I think was kind of a deterrent for a lot of people with my last one. And I would really, as always, I aim to make things as affordable as I absolutely can. So um, I was... I don't know, I'm kind of playing with the idea of making it a slightly smaller design as opposed to my last one, which was um, 20 individual pieces. So yeah, um, I also got better paper to print this one on, so hopefully it, uh, I mean, I wasn't unhappy with the quality of my last design, but this one is hopefully going to be even better, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I think it's, what kind of paper is it? It's Staples Matte uh, Two-Sided. Um, eight and a half by 11 matte paper. Um, I kind of wanted to try a semi-gloss because of the fact that all of these are digital drawings. Um, also I chose to do them digitally because like I said the last design was uh, all watercolor done and I wanted to just branch out and do something completely opposite and totally different than what I had worked on previously. Um, so yeah, I thought that it would look nice on some semi-gloss, but I cannot for the life of me, maybe I'm just looking in the wrong places, but I could not for the life of me find um, double-sided semi-gloss paper, which, you know, makes sense, but also disappointing. Um, so if anyone has any recommendations on good uh, double-sided semi-gloss paper, hit me up. Um, also, sorry about the little bit of glare that you can see on the screen there. Um, I was doing this while it was light outside, so there is a lot of double chin that is visible if you look really hard, um, but such is life. Um, so yeah, that's basically the gist of this project. I'm hoping to have it released in the next day or two. Um, the whole printing and constructing process is kind of what took such a long time with my last one, but since I've kind of gotten the hang of it from working on these previously, I'm hoping that it'll go a little bit faster this time. Um, or at least I'm hoping for the best. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited to get this ball rolling. Um, and like I said before, just working on this one has inspired me to do several more in the future of completely different genres as well. Um, and a, kind of a different setup, I suppose, is what I would call it. Um, yeah, I'd like to do some, maybe including some poetry or, um, you know, suggested themes, that sort of thing. Um, but we'll, I'm going to focus on finishing this one first, but I am already jotting down ideas for the next one. So hopefully that will be the next project. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just love working in these collections of photos of a, around a themed, um, like themed content or themed colors, whatever it may be. Um, it's just something that I really enjoy working in. I find it exceptionally gratifying once it's all said and done. Um, so yeah, 
Uh, also, if you guys would like to see sneak peeks of all the things I'm working on, um, they will be in my Instagram stories, so you'll be able to catch stuff there. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for tuning into this video. There will be more, hopefully, in the near future. Um, feel free to like and subscribe if you'd like to stay updated with my content, and I will see you guys next Tuesday, you know, God willing. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye!